lumbar junction, feel where your lowest ribs are in your flank and draw a general line to where it meets your spine. That's what you want over the very top of the foam roller. So get that part right over the top, hold your booty in the air, and help your head to gently get down to the floor of the table. Now you may have to roll up an inch or down an inch because you're trying to find that sore spot. Once you get it, that's where you want to rest on so you can breathe and drop your body. Do not squeeze into an arch. This is purely passive and learning to breathe and relax and it can take five or eight minutes for your muscles to decrease in tension and for the pain to kind of ebb. The second portion of this is doing your quadratus lumborum release. Very important that when you do your quarter turn, which this is literally enough turn, you're not on your ribs, so you cannot be on bone. So if that means you need to move that roller lower slightly and then do your quarter turn so you're on the side flank muscle, go ahead and do that. This can take two to five minutes to release. You'll do the other side. Then really squeeze your abs and dig with your elbows and you can prop on your elbows or your hands and use your legs to let you roll just above and below that region and it feels loosened up and you feel okay. Go ahead and drop your booty and walk yourself up and that's how you release your thoracolumbar junction and your quadratus lumborum.